Hey guys, Sean Lentz here from Appalachian DIY. Today I'm going to show you how to set up the Harbor Freight 3.5 cubic foot cement mixer. First things first, let's get everything unboxed. The first thing that we're going to assemble is the wheelbase, the stand, and the leg. Don't forget the you have one bolt hole here and on the uh, stand side that also needs to be attached. The bolts that go through the uh, wheelbase and the leg are the longer bolts, um, so make sure that you get those because there's ones that are just a smidge uh, smaller and they won't fit all the way through. The next we can do is we can put on our wheel. We have four washers. One washer goes on first. Our wheel, another washer, and then our cotter pin. The next thing we need to do is put our arm and lower drum onto the stand. So I need to stop the video real quick because I actually messed up. What I did was is I put this lower cradle on here backwards and what that does is it puts the motor over the handles and makes them hard to get to. I actually put it on backwards. The motor needs to be over the wheels. So let's get that fixed. All right, so here we are. We have everything set up the way it needs to be. The tilt handle is directly over the handles, a lot more accessible without the motor in the way, and the motor is over the wheels. So now we can go ahead and get back to our build. Again, these take the larger bolts. The next thing we need to do is put the control plate on. The dish faces out, and the rounded part faces in towards the drum. Take your control plate, this notch will fit over the split ring, and then you can twist it, line your holes up, it'll go lock washer, washer, and it screws right into here. The next thing we need to do is we need to put on the handle, so just put in the spring, and this goes on here, and the bolt we're going to use is the one without threads just on the end and our lock our lock nut. And this is easily the hardest to put in. Um, what I'll do is put one end in first through here and then just kind of bend this over into place and then just screw this bolt through. This gets a washer on this end then, and then that nylon nut. Now this is probably, this is easily the hardest part of this entire build, getting this on here. You might need to have someone push down on the drum while you torque this bar around um, because it is extremely hard to get on. The next thing we need to do is we need to put this top part of the drum on. Uh, the instructions say to put this rubber gasket onto the top and then put it on here. So you would have to kind of do it from the bottom. So we're not gonna do it that way. Um, I put the um, bolts with the rubber grommet into the lower part. And all we're gonna do is take them out um, one at a time as we work around and put this top lid on. And we're just gonna move the grommet so it lines up with this top ridge on the uh, top of our drum. Before you bolt this down, make sure you take your blades that are inside, your mixer blades, and make sure that they line up with this hole on the outside and the holes on the inside of your lower drum before you bolt this thing down. So we're just going to take these out one at a time, put them back through the top, and line them back down. 
Now what you can do is put a uh, wash or a nut on one of these sides, one on here and one on the opposite side, just to kind of hold this uh, lid in place. And then what you can do on the inside here, you can see where some of the uh, grommet is not set right. So just kind of push that down into place and just get it flush with the top and lower drum. Once you have that close, we can go ahead and start cinching up our bolts underneath. And when you're cinching up, um, like say one here and one here, uh, reach inside and uh, just kind of line up that grommet and make sure that it snugs down evenly. So the next thing we're gonna do um, after we have our seal in is we're gonna put these mixing blades in. And the way these go in is the pointed end is going to go to the bottom of the bottom drum. And the orientation is you want it to point towards the direction that the um, drum is mixing. So we're going to have it go this way. So the way we need to do these pointed ends and fasten them is we're going to have our hex nut, our lock washer, and our washer. That goes on top, but on the bottom, we're going to put our grommet and then a flat washer like this underneath our, uh, our pointed end. So we'll get all this together like so. And we'll push that in. So it's our hex nut. Uh, next is our lock washer, washer, and then underneath that is a larger washer, and underneath the larger washer is a rubber seal or grommet. And then it's the same thing for the top. Um, mine didn't come with rubber grommets, I think it was supposed to, so I just put in um, a washer up here, but I'm thinking it's supposed to have a rubber grommet on here. Um, and then you just kind of tighten these from either side. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to put our uh, motor housing on. You'll notice that it has this notch again. That's to get over the split ring. So put it over that, slide into position, and then just bolt it on. The next thing we need to do is we need to mount our motor bracket and that is going to go right here where these two slots are that's going to slide up and down for our tension and we're also going to take this bracket and that is going to go on the back side here and uh, we're going to use our longest bolts with washers and lock washers so we're going to take this plate right here going to go and pass through and we're gonna catch our bracket on the inside. The next thing we'll do is we'll position this keyway so it's facing up. Take our key, slide it into place, and we'll give this a little bit of oil on here. That way the pulley can slide on this a little easier. With the shaft lubricated and the key in place, we can go ahead and put our pulley in place. Now we can go ahead and put our motor on. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our belt on first before we tighten anything down. Like so. So now we can just adjust this height I'm a little bit because we are off here, kind of like so, and then we'll just put our four bolts in here. For the alignment of the pulley on the motor, you want it directly underneath this larger pulley. Um, if you have it either too far forward or too far back, you're going to wear the sides out on this belt. Once you have the motor in alignment, all you're going to need to do is tighten these bolts down. Once we have our motor in place, now we can tighten up this bracket on the back. Um, and you want a little bit of pressure on the belt um, with a little bit of deflection on it. And then just go ahead and tighten up this back bracket. 
The last thing that we need to do is put our bolts in for this cover and that's pretty much it. That wraps up this build. The hardest part of this thing was actually getting all the correct bolts in the right places. The instructions were really limited in that aspect. So it was really difficult putting this thing together. That was probably the most time spent was putting bolts in, realizing that they were needed in another spot, and then having to redo it. Uh, the other hardest part was this arm. Getting this bolt through was extremely difficult. If you guys can do it by yourself, props to you. Um, but that was the most difficult part, is just threading this bolt through. Um, other than that, it was pretty simple going together um, with just a couple pieces. So it is nice. We'll have to see how this thing does, though. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button and head over to Appalachian DIY for more videos. Thanks again, guys, and I hope to see you next time.